Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over the Dragon Labs on-screen display. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to go through all the settings. The settings that I use for autopilot, GPS, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set this thing up. Now the Dragon Labs, you can do uh, so many different things. It's, uh, it's pretty open source minded, it's for open source minded people. Um, it has a full... Uh, recordable feature where you can uh, it has a uh, logging function where you can log your whole flight and tell you everything about it uh, using uh, Google Earth and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get into it now you'll see the white background I just put a piece of uh, paper behind my in front of my penguin camera there and what I have is this is on my actual penguin and I'm going to go over and uh, here's my radio and I'm going to show you how to get into the menu just by uh, flipping it on here, switch C. Okay, so in this instance, uh, I have my mode switch, which is autopilot all the way up. Uh, in the middle is just the on-screen display, as you see it there. And in the bottom, it's going to go to menu mode. So I'll switch it just into menu mode there. Uh, it's real easy to go through the menu, and um, I can show you here real quick with the radio. Using my right stick, I can go through the menu, and if I want to get into it, just move it to the right. And if I want to go back, I just move it to the left, the back out. So you're just using your other stick. You can actually do this in flight, and what it does is it'll stabilize the flight. The airplane will keep it level if the settings are correct, and then you can actually switch into menu mode and uh, go through the menu during flight to make quick changes. So uh, one of the biggest things to remember is uh, this line, save to EEPROM. Any, all the changes we make, they're not going to stay until we save it to EEPROM. Uh, it's real something for you guys, real, real important for you to remember. So we'll, let's go through and we'll start with OSD settings. And I'll get my radio down here. Okay, so we'll go up to OSD settings. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to show you guys the basics here, what it show, what what everything means, uh, and, and also what it does. I think I'm getting a little interference on my Dragon Link. Okay, so the display voltage. It's my ground station somehow. Okay, so the display voltage. Uh, this is all the stuff that pertains to the on-screen display. So we're going to go through it real quick just to show you guys. Um, a lot of these are, are pretty common sense. Display voltage one, you have display voltage two, you can have a two battery system. Um, call sign, mine is off. You can label it for your plane uh, or your radio call sign if you have a FCC uh, technician's class license. And it'll display it once every 10 minutes. Uh, glide slope, I have that on. And the ratio of 0.2 gives you uh, one fifth distance to altitude for the glide slope. That's uh, default setting. VSI is on. Um, air temperature is off. I, those are for external uh, external sensors I don't have. Time is on. Distance is on. Disable text border. The reason why uh, you want this off, if you disable it, uh, that black, it won't be black. And your words will be in white. So. Uh, when you're in the air, it might be a little bit easier on this video to keep it this way. But when you're in the air, it is easier to see it uh, when, it's, when it's black and you have this line around it. GP input mode. What this is, is this is for the general purpose input mode. is for the jack on the actual board. And uh, mode 2 is for RSSI. So I'm using that certain jack on the board for RSSI input. Uh, altimeter ladder style, there's different uh, graphic styles you can use for the altimeter. Same with the speed. Uh, also, there's a lot of different uh, compass styles as far as where your home position is, the arrow to home, um, which direction to turn to start facing home. As far as the autopilot, there's eight different compass styles. Horizon style, now I have the IMU, uh, so it's fully supported in this. and. Um, you can go through and choose different horizons. As you can see here, if I move the plane, my horizon moves too. 
And uh, that's pretty much the IMU. I also use the IMU for stabilization. And we'll go back to the menus here. Flaps and spoilers. This is sort of cool. You can actually uh, have a display on the screen when you use your flaps and your spoilers. Um, so if your flaps are off or on and you can't remember and you have your goggles on or whatnot, using this will tell you if your flaps are on or down. Audio variometer. You're going to need uh, to receive audio or have audio running through the on-screen display and also from your video receiver all the way to the ground station. Have audio once again down there uh, to hear anything. And this is different, uh, the on-screen display modes. There's different modes if you guys don't like the horizon or if you want all your numbers up or to the right or down to the left, you can set up your information uh, in a few different ways. So this is the basic first uh, menu in the OSD settings menu. Or we're just going to go back up to the main menu and back. Now this is, uh, I've, I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos. I'm going to set, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the GPS for autopilot and also the IMU for autopilot. So let's get into the GPS and alert settings and I'll show you that real quick here. Okay, a lot of people aren't sure what this stuff means, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick lesson in, in what it all means. And I have a printed copy next to me here, so I'm going to go through it. It'll, it'll help me clarify everything and make it easier for you guys to understand. Okay, uh, the HDOP, what that is, it's the horizontal, horizontal dilution of precision. The larger the value, the looser the GPS is for finding home position, waypoints, etc. 1.50 is the standard, or uh, I should say the, uh, the default setting. If we lower that to 1.3, it's going to have a tighter GPS uh, signal. So it's going to get it closer to home. Also, you might have to wait for more satellites. Just a uh, real quick explanation here of that. We could actually spend all day talking about the sunscreen display, but mainly I want to get to the autopilot and, and, and warnings. Uh, minimum valid readouts. It's the number of uh, HDOP readings required before the GPS is considered valid. So 15 uh, standard. The higher up this number goes, the more accurate it's going to be, more satellites you'll need. This is where I was talking about glide slope. Uh, this number is pretty much divided over one for the glide slope angle. Of approach so in this case of point two it's one-fifth altitude uh, I'm sorry one-fifth distance to altitude for uh, for a glide slope the logging period is for the data logger that it comes with let me adjust my ground station here and it's gonna do it every five seconds I don't log uh, the flights just yet on uh, Google Earth but I'm gonna probably get into that this summer a little bit distance warning I have mine for five kilometers um, even if you're not in the metric system, you can use imperial units of measurement like I do in this uh, when I fly. The menu will be in, in, in uh, metric, so you know 5,000 meters is about three and a half miles. Um, so that's what my distance warning is set at. You know, set this to where you're comfortable flying. If you're comfortable at 500 meters and you get a little nervous, if you're losing video, if you're on 5.8, set it down lower. It's real easy to do that. Same with the battery warning. If you're flying with a 3000, well obviously your warning won't be at 3800. It's gonna to need to be at like 2200. Um, I fly with a 4500 pack sometimes, a 5000 pack. And I can jump in there in two seconds with the radio and uh, change the setting. It makes it a really nice feature. We got battery warning voltages. And the master warning. What that is, is that lets you know about everything. Stall, uh, your altitude warnings, battery warnings, This is your um, altitude ratio, which I think it's your, okay, it's the ratio of the altitude to the ground distance, uh, which the altitude indicator will begin to flash and the GPS coordinates will be displayed automatically. Uh, the lower you set this number, the closer to the ground you have to be before you learn your GPS coordinates. So it's good to have this a little bit on the high side. Stall speed's pretty standard. I lowered mine to 24. I think it's at uh, 28 stock or uh, default setting. My metric is off. I use Imperial units for flying. 
Uh, there's different longitude latitude styles. Um, I, I can't change them and show you guys in this setting. They're just different modes. There's three modes, zero, one, and two. And uh, but because I don't have satellites I'm in my garage, I can't uh, I can't show you guys them settings. But it's just a different graphical interface for uh, longitude and latitude. GPS password. This is for when you guys want to use the GPS for more than one thing. Um, GPS goes into this board, but it might be used for something else as well. And this gives the board uh, permission to let the GPS signal pass through. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think I'm losing my receiver power. So another battery on my ground station.